Uh, yeah, I love this part. Woohoo! All right, let's open this baby. Hey guys, happy day here. I've been telling you about this device and it finally came in from Amazon today. This is gonna save me a lot of time and money, I think, because what I can do is I portion out my meals and even when I eat part of that meal or part of something I have frozen, I can then use this vacuum sealer machine and you know, portion out back in little parts and put it back in the refrigerator or wherever you, you know, choose to do it. So you've heard of these machines before, like vacuum seals and then, you know, it vacuums and then seals the bag. So that's what this is. So excited. Let's open this guy up. And um, there were a lot of choices on Amazon, but the reason I chose this guy is because this one said it was from Austria. So let's take a look, okay? Okay. And in Amazon tradition, lots of stuff. Oh, look at this, guys. This is beautiful. Mueller, I already like the name, right? Sounds foreign. Um, food fresh vacuum seal. Now, I'm gonna see where it's made. It's probably made made under P in PRC, People's Republic of China. All right, so this is Chinese too. But let's uh, open this thing up. I'm not sure if we need any more. There we go. All right, beautiful thing we have a roll of sealing bags right there. Um, I got some other little bags here that are like already pre-sized. I have the, the manual, nice, right? Um, something free, it's always nice. Mom says free is good. Congratulations, there go. And then the hose, yeah. And then, uh, let's see, how do we get this guy out of here? And this is what I wanted to do. You can see right on the cover there. Like, do my chicken and different things. Oh, I also ordered, make sure the box is empty. How do I get that in there? Perfect size box. Um, extra bags, right? Because you're always gonna need those. And they are pretty inexpensive on Amazon. There's, and this thing, according to um, the question and answers on Amazon, will take any size bag. So any type of bag. They put like little styrofoam things in there, just for a click. Another click there. Probably the top going down. Here we go. Beautiful machine. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pause the video and read up about this thing so I can show you how to use it. Um, but I believe you, I'm not sure if you can see that in the light, you position the bag, this is the suction part here. An air that I saw a lot of people giving it bad reviews because they take the bag, here I'll show you one, and they, they would take the bag and put it way up here and says, this thing doesn't seal. Well, you're, you're way out of the zone. You know, you gotta be right in here. You can even feel that there's a rubber seal there. So you gotta put it like right there so the air can, you know, escape from the bag. Not like that. Anyway, I'm gonna read up, I'll plug it in, and we'll have some fun, okay? Okay, guys, here we are. In the kitchen, and what I'm gonna do is have some of these beautiful Italian links, pork sausage. They're fully cooked. I got them at Whole Foods. They have one carb, 15 grams of protein, 15 grams of fat. So I'm probably just going to eat one of them because I don't want to blow my carbs. That's just the way I am. 
So, um, this bag is way too big for the rest of these, right? Uh, according to the instructions over here, it said, you know, put them in there and leave three inches. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, so let's open this. All right. Kind of way. You can get the, I don't know how you guys open stuff. Hands are clean. So this one, I'm gonna set aside because I'm gonna eat it. So put that over here. Okay. And then the other three, we're gonna take this beautiful roll that came with it, right? There we go, look at that. And, uh, well, don't want paper in there. Stick that right down there. Guys, this is sort of foolproof, right? I mean, come on, don't you think? Now, I could put it in there like that, but I don't want to do that. Um, another thing I could do is, that's probably kind of gross, putting the barcode in with it, right? And the contamination from, I don't know, what would you guys do? Anyway, maybe I'll tape it on the outside. That's <laughs> smarter. Okay, so, we got these three plus the um, three inches. It's going to be right about there. So I'm going to cut it. And then, you know, all we have here is like a sleeve. So it said, I just turned it on, right? There's a mode that you can just see. Oh, it's the seal button here. So we'll put this in here. This. We just want to seal the bottom, right? Click, and then just seal. Sealing, sealing, sealing. Okay, seal light went out. Pop it up. And there's our seal, look at that, that's so cool. Okay, now, like I said, clean hands, clean hands. And we're gonna get the remaining three dogs out of here, or sausages. There we go, there we go. And then try this thing out, right? I'm sit them down in there, try not to get stuff on the outside. Now this is, I don't know, I'd call it a moist food because there is moisture in there. And it said that for dry foods, it's more like nuts and stuff like that, right? So this is the very first time I'm using this. Okay, according to the thing, we want to put three inches. Uh, see, make sure we do, our food is moist. Boy, that's very touch sensitive. We want airtight, and then we're gonna hit vacuum seal. So let's put this right into the area right there and it also said don't cover up that too because that's i guess where the flow goes all right i think we're good let's see what happens here okay and then vacuum seal right let's try it Till the light goes out. Another thing it said is that after you seal one, wait 40 seconds. All right, seal light one out and take my food out. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Look at that. All right, and then I can take this. And uh, the reason why I want to save the um, barcode is because it's so easy to look up in chronometer. You just like do the barcode and it says, oh yeah, you want one serving of this. And, uh, you know, instead of having to type all the nutritional information in there. What do you think for the first time? Congratulations, Mueller. Beautiful, beautiful. Love it. And make sure everything's clean in there. Yeah. It said make sure you don't get any food and stuff in there, or like water, because that will, like, damage the equipment. But that's great. And see, I didn't have to use this huge bag, right? All I have to do is just, like, make a bag out of these 
rolls that come. Man, that is just fantastic. I love it. Anyway, fine product. Um, I'll put a link below. Um, I'm very happy with this so far. And um, I think you'll enjoy it too. I think it'll save you time and money. I really do. And, uh, you know, it's a nice gadget to have. And it's a time saver. There you go.